are wrong for the entire ride, so we have no see, but I think we can feel it ramping up. Here we go, Nathan. All right, they have hit out. Yeah, there's going to be the tank from Dirty Watts now trying to go. Moving now, ETC a little bit early there. Here comes Shelly. Hazy Sensation just on 9 Watts. Still going to come from him. Another kick from Hazy Sensation. Moving now, ETC is on way, but here he comes. It's going to be a walk away, perhaps. Up to 54 kilometers per hour. The kick from the group, but here comes an arrow, and it's going to be. James Boom goes kaboom across the line. Nice. Woo! Jay Boom! Get a fight out there, guys. Grabs it yeah. amazing sensation. I think Bird was right there alongside him. That was a great little sprinter line that DK so, always fun to see in the D category when they really come to line with those with those sprints. I was talking, I was talking about, about this earlier, Nathan. My point is this. This was not the A race. This was the D race. But these guys felt like they were in the A race. Uh, that had to have been awesome. Sure, you're completely empty right now. Nothing, Nothing brings more out, out of you, makes, makes you into a, a better athlete than digging this deep. So, so guys, that, that was fantastic. Great, great to have you as part of the ZRL. I cannot wait, wait to see how we grow together out here throughout, throughout the season, season two. two. But Nathan, that's, that's how you do it. You want to get better at the sport? You're never going to find that last 1% until you get into a bike. Never do that. Even sprinting with your buddies for the town sign. It's different. It's different than here. You know, I was thinking about this earlier, Jay. So in the... Um, that's kind of what this feels like in some ways, though, too. It's like we're all coming around the water hole and having a, a great time watching all of our buddies sprint for the line. Yeah. Although there's a lot, you know, it's kind of this in-between space because you do have this, like, kind of elite racing going on and then amongst it there's some stuff on the line, ways to get in the premier division. You know, there's obviously lots of viewership going on in front of it as well, so that's pretty cool. But at the same time, there's this cool side of it that's like, we're all, We're all just watching them sprint for the, the, the side together, though, too, cheering it up. You know, and it's all, oh, hey, yeah. you see me and so-and-so -so around this region, whatever, get together and hammering and who won on that night, you know? And it's really the growing of the sport at the regional level. I've always said that, local basketball, most of the baseball diamond, local basketball court, it, that's where things actually grow in sport. You ain't gonna have football on TV, unless you've got football at the high school. And that, I think that's really what we're seeing here in the development of this sport in eSports and just races. This is where it actually grows the sport, so people want to participate, spectate, and hang out amongst us. I even want to take that a step further. You're, until you have football in the park down the street from your house, that's where it all starts, right? I mean, I love it.